What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol AMC for AMC Entertainment, of course. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update, and before we go any further, I just want to point out that we have done the full 100% retracement. We've talked about this in prior videos. Although we're getting a couple of days of green price action here, it's not like anything amazing is happening in AMC. This is not going to the moon, quote-unquote, so please just let's not get ahead of our Ourselves. That's all I wanted to point out. So zooming back in and being a little bit more realistic, where's the obvious breakout level? It's right here. Okay. If we can get a move up and over 18, maybe there's something larger into 2075, but we have barely even started to scratch at that level. Notice that there's still a full day's worth of range. Uh, if we were to just double what happened today, essentially until we even get into that area. Now, why is it so important? Well, prior support, then resistance, 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 right? So to me, nothing really exciting is going to happen in AMC until we take out 18 and get some more definitive price action uh, above it. If you're an aggressive trader, you can take the break, or if you're a more conservative trader, you could probably wait for some sort of uh, move that looks like this, right? Higher low pullback that then starts to support off of that level, right? We call that a break and retest. So that's what I'm seeing to the upside. And maybe this turns into a bit of a double bottom. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. That's still the neckline of the double bottom pattern. Uh, and in this instance, you know, your target would be here, first level that we discussed, 2075, stop loss, probably if the double bottom neckline, uh, double bottom bottom neckline fails. There we go. So if we move back down under 18, you're probably not looking for anything, noting that this will likely turn into a trading range. We have a look above and fail. As we know, the target should always be the bottom end of the range, which we have as 1425. So those are a couple of daily scenarios to be considering here. If we take a closer look at the 30 minute intraday time frame, sure, don't get me wrong, closed as a nice bull flag here. You can see that activity there. So one step at a time, maybe if you're a scalper, you're looking for the break of 1630s. And again, you can see that in here, or excuse me, 1660s. Uh, and you can see that in here and where that's coming from, prior shelf of support, then turning into resistance on today's session. It was also resistant in this area as well. If we can break that, it probably builds the case that we make our way to the 18 handle. And as we know, that's the larger neckline. So for you know one step at a time, we have clear, clear areas to be getting involved in. If you're looking for this bull flag to break out, it's got to consolidate further in here and then break. If it starts to take that out to the downside, I would just look for rollover, right? And technically speaking, we would have a lower high from here to here, an equal low down below does not really set up a bullish scenario. It actually sets up a nice flush point with all of these equal lows around 1470s to at least get us to that low from in here, that big uh, hammer candle day around 1340. All right. So that's what I'm watching out for inside of AMC. One step at a time. Be patient. Uh, it's not looking fantastic. I'll tell you that. And uh, it's also not looking like it's going to roll over and go to the grave like zero, right? So it's not looking overly bearish or overly bullish right now, kind of just trading in this range. I think the patience play is the move, either longs up and over 18 or staying away if it starts taking out 1425. That's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.